So the movie is called The Honor List and it's about four girls who were really good friends, best friends growing up, and then something happens and we flash forward to their senior year and none of them are friends and they all hate each other. And uh, so we kind of are trying to figure out what happened between them and tragedy brings them together. And uh, without revealing too much, they uh, start to do a bucket list together, which is completing the bucket list they started and wrote the summer before their freshman year of high school. And so now they wanna get that done before they graduate. And so we kind of just follow those characters and see are they gonna end up being friends again? Why did they stop being friends in the first place? And kind of how they've grown apart, but also how even though they haven't been friends, they kind of all have similar lives and lead different stories. My character is Piper and she is like class clown, party girl kind of a thing. Uh, I love her so much because I think she has a different take on the popular girl and like the funny girl kind of mentality. I was very like falsely confident and like cracking jokes all the time. So like I'm the first one to make fun of myself so nobody else can. And so I think that's also what she's like. And it gives people this sense that like she has her life completely together. But in reality, a lot of the times people who seem like they have it all together are people who have it together the absolute least, which is what I really like um, about her. And she's fun to play. And it's also fun to be like pretend drunk all the time. And you're like, woo. <laughs> I mean, I definitely put a lot of pressure on myself because this was something that like, <laughs> I didn't get cast in the movie. Like I gave myself the role, like I created the story. So like, I, I was the one who was like, oh, she can do it. And I'm like, oh me, like I'm talking about me. So like there was that like self doubt of being like, oh wait, like, can I do this? Like I was so confident in thinking that this was like my like dream role and the role that I could totally take on. So the premise of the movie came from the fact that my best friend and I had wrote a bucket list summer before our freshman year of high school, but we lost it, or I think her mom might've thrown it away because she thought it was trash. So we did like nothing on it except for stay up and watch the sunset. But now I would say on my bucket list, I really want a puppy. Um, I really want to go to pastry school. Um, if I'm being super ambitious, it could be in like Paris or something. I want to be in a Marvel movie as like a superhero or like a background. <laughs> I hope that it justifies people's feelings. I think um, a lot of the time we kind of diminish how young people feel and we chalk it all up to like, oh, like hormones, you're growing up, like you'll grow out of it. And I hated when people said that to me when I was a kid. I was like, so I'm gonna grow out of being miserable, but I'm just supposed to be okay with being miserable for the next like four years, five years? Like that seemed, I don't wanna write off like a section of my life being told that it like, it'll get better eventually once you grow up. Um, and a lot of the things that young people go through, if we went through them as adults, it'd be equally as traumatizing and like equally as difficult. And I just don't think that young people get enough credit for dealing with like the amount of things that they do. And so I hope people can walk away from it in feeling like they've A, felt represented on the characters that they see and these storylines. And we all look so different, which was so important to me because I'm like, I don't relate to a movie of girls that look just like me because that doesn't look like my friend group. Like I can't watch this or the traveling pants with my friends and we can't all be one. We're like, okay, well, Megan can be Blake Lively and then everybody else is screwed. Like, and so that I want people to be able to watch a movie with like their best friends and be like, wow, like I can see me up here. Like I'm represented. Um, and then have people feel like whatever they're going through and all that stuff, they can feel some comfort in knowing that they're not alone. Because I think a lot of the time people don't talk about the difficult issues and there's so much pride when you're young, which like I still got a lot of pride now, but like when you're young, you never want to admit like if you're not doing so well or anything like that. So I think it can be kind of, kind of nice to see it on screen to be like, oh wow, I can register and acknowledge that I might feel those things and it's okay because so much of the time women don't talk about that stuff.